Sheep fans, thanks for clicking on this video. A warning before we start, there is a sheep caesarean in this video, so there's a lot of blood and gory things that if that makes you feel unwell, you may not enjoy, so please don't watch this video. Also, I know a lot of kids watch my videos, so if you perhaps have young kids that you want to shelter from this kind of thing, then again, this video is not for them. But it's real, it's farming, it's what I'm doing every day. Well, not this, but farming is what I'm doing every day. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching my lambing videos. Please think about giving this one a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and now just sit back, and here we go. <laughs> Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game and look who just woke up, Jock, it's good to get a wee feature in here because then we'll look at you in a few years time and be like, God Jock, look how small you were on the vlog. <laughs> yes, yeah, exciting, another day, okay so, round's perfect this morning, all good, no dramas, but we have pending drama here at the shed. Hopefully it won't be too bad. She's been lambing for a good while now. And I've given her as much time as possible. I can't actually see her now. Is that her? Oh yeah, right, she's right there, so she is. But it's just the fact she's chewing her cud, I didn't think that was her. So she's standing here with her back to the wall. Let's walk in here. Oh, don't trip. Send me a postcard next time. Here she's standing here. Here she is here, rather uncomfortable. Now she's been lambing for a while and she's went back to chewing her cud. So this tells me she's not focusing enough. You see she's uncomfortable there, but she's not focusing enough on giving birth. So I'm thinking there's a blockage or some sort of problem. She, I don't know if she'll move around there, maybe you'll see her back end, maybe not. She's not, what I would say, uh, loosened off. So it's not gonna be too easy. We're gonna catch a hold of her. Was that Jock? I thought it was you. That was quite strong. It's not going to be easy. Jock likes the curly hair. Thank you. So it's not going to be easy. We're going to get a hold of her. We're going to get some Metacam and pen strip ready straight away. And we're just we're going to jag her before we even start. Just I think it, it could get quite sore for her. She has a hog after all. So we'll get that into her before we actually start getting in about the back end here. Glad somebody's happy this morning. But hope you're all well. Hope you're all well. Thanks for joining us again. We're making progress, Jock. We're making progress. What do you think about this camera, isn't that? You love all this. We, it's crazy how Wayne's, Wayne's love, like, technology and... <laughs> right, grab it. Grab it. You got it? Right, he's just chewing it. Right, here. Jock. Let it go. Quite, it's quite strong. <laughs> Takes after your mum. Yep. Yeah. Right, let's get this sheep in. That's enough messing about, Jock. Yeah. We're down to the last few sheep, so if anything, it's probably a little bit harder to catch a sheep now. Um, I think we'll bring her up to this end. <coughs> up here. We'll need this as well. Give this to Lizzie. Nearly, nearly a good catch. It was a bad throw, wasn't it? It was a bad throw. Oh, steady girls. Is it, there's not even 30 left, I don't think. Is there 30? Right, come on, lass. She's a big hog, but she's scan and she's scanned for twins, so hopefully the lambs aren't too big. That's lass. Take you up the top here. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Everybody stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. You're all right, girls. You girls slip. If you don't want to be involved in this, girls, then leave now. Just, 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 just this girl with a white face we want. Nice and steady. Nice and steady, lads. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Just relax. Relax, relax, relax. Relax. Steady, lass. Steady, steady. Watch your head. Watch your head. Right, I'm just going to have a feel first before I make a decision on whether she needs an injection or not. She's certainly fit enough. 
She's going to fight with me the whole way, perhaps. Let's pop this over the head. Let me feel what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, lass. It's okay, lass. Let me just feel you. What is happening here? Two, two lambs coming at once is the problem here. Two lambs have came at once and just stalled the whole pregnancy. She's not slackened off. I can barely get my fingers in there. But she's not really going to progress unless we do something. So I'm going to give her a jag just now. We'll see how it actually goes, the lamb, and whether she needs a, a jag of penicillin or not. Now, let's get lubed up here. Some on the back, some on the front. The jock's good. It's quite a good shot there. Is that right? <laughs> hey, Jock, what's that? That'd be a good photo, actually. Oh, that's right. A wee bit more loop here. The good thing is she's having twins, so hopefully they're not too big. And my other, my other hope is, oh jeez, they are big. Oh jeez. Right, lass. Oh wow. <laughs> Cheeky boy. Uh, wow, well, this is um, this is a shambles. So the problem I have here with this lamb, obviously, you can see it's a bit distressing for the sheep. I'm not delaying in any way. I'm working it out as I speak to you. But the problem I have is that there's no room to work in here. So trying to figure out, I've got four legs forward, one clear head forward that I would say is definitely the. the lamb that should be coming out first. I can't actually work myself back enough to just confirm the legs because there's, there's not really much space for, for, for my hand in here. Whatever feels furthest forward, you know, work, feel, feel the legs, feel the head, what, what seems naturally furthest forward. Genuinely questioning how we're gonna get this head and legs through this pelvis. This might not be an easy job here, was it? I knew that before we started, but these l the lambs are too big. Hmm. No, but it's getting the balance. That's a good question. Lizzie asked me if I ever had to get a vet in for a C-section, and an the answer is no. But at the same time, as I as I learn more and more about the sheep world and farming in general, like I know I could get these lambs out, but I also know that it's going to be very like just how tight this sheep is here and how tight she is in the pelvis. I know it's going to be very sore for this sheep. So I have to make, it's, it's making the decision whether is it less painful and less damaging to the sheep to actually just cut the lambs out the side than it is if we rip these out here and cause a blood bath and make it very painful for this sheep. That is a question. Yeah, go and grab my phone. Alan, how are you getting on? No, so bad, can I just Thanks for phoning. Listen, I'm, I'm vlogging the new, uh, so keep, keep, the, keep the swearing to a minimum. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you a scenario, I don't know how you're fixed. Um, uh, I've got a wee hog here, I think I'd be better uh, cutting the lambs out of her as opposed to trying to force them out the back door. Yeah. Would, would anybody be available to come down and help me out? Or do I, do I bring them up or what's the scenario? Well, your options are you can, you can bring it to the surgery if you want to come in, we'll just do the back door or... or Something come to you, it's up to you, you say. Well, probably, it'd probably be easier to come here if that's quicker. Aye, aye, that's, um, is it just at the bit where we did the blood sampling? Uh, it's, it's at, uh, yeah. 
Yep, uh, just that's fine. I'm actually, I'm not a million miles away, Cammy. I'm, I'm just basically, I'm at Bar Hill at the minute on the way back down the road. So, oh, just aye. To you. Yeah, ideal, that's fine. I'm just in, just the uh, in the night. Uh, what do you want me to do with her? Well, we'll need, I'll get clippers, but I could do a left side clip, but other than that, that's fine. Right, we'll get some clips, and I'll do a left side, and I'll get her in a wee pen. I've given her a Jagametic just because I thought I was going to be uh, mogging about and forcing it out, but I thought, be a progressive farmer and let's be nice to the sheep. Uh, I don't know, it's just a big lamb, can uh, She's twins too, but I t it's just, it's one of the ones I can find I could mogging about here for a while and get this lamb out, but it's it's what damage am I going to do to her? Gonna do, huh? Aye, that's fine. Um, what was I going to say? Aye, other than that, I need a bit of water, Cammy. That'll do. About like that. If we need to do a bit more, we can do it. Alan's not far away. Do you want me to tell you what I'm doing? Aye, do you I, um, So that, that's just, um, that's heavy scrub, it's just a disinfectant, we're just cleaning the, we're going to get it cleaned up before we give her any oh, anaesthetic. This is a local anaesthetic going in. Her another clean up. So I was just saying, to Alan off camera, he's, he's saying he's been doing well, he'll always do quite a lot of these, I'd imagine, but quite a lot this year. A, a good winter, you think? Big lambs? Yeah, big lambs. So those lambs are big and getting bigger because the grass is now growing, really. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll always do quite a lot. Yeah. Probably more, probably more on our part, it'd be a bit too much feeding for these hogs in with the ewes. I've just been... Yeah, they're in, she's certainly in quite good condition. Aye. So that's her clean, and this is just surgical spirit to give it, so... Just you're trying to make it as clean as possible, despite being in a shed, obviously. Yes, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is the instruments, basically, but these are in a stereo yeah. pack at the minute. Oh, I can't rustle a bag in here. Then <laughs> <laughs> I'll get myself a bit cleaner than I am. Is that an iodine mix, it's is it? It's a povidine iodine, really. So yeah. it is a, it is a yeah. good scrub, it really. Not, not as soon your hands? Yeah, um, heavy scrub dries your hands out if you're doing plenty of them. You're just, your hands will be in that slant. I have to mind, uh, as a wee boy, if they ever used to do a caesarean at Cape Rinton, um, uh, Wally, who's the vet used to take his tap off? No, no, I'm expecting you to do yeah. that, Alan. Yeah. Willie well, McTeer. <laughs> well, was it Willie McTeer? Aye. Was it, aye. Was, I'm sure it was. I was he at MBM. Yes. Aye, yeah, aye. Sure. I used to. I always mind a wee boy like this yeah. madman with his tap half covered in blood. <laughs> 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 That's the vet. <laughs> That drape just helps keep the rest of the the wool out of the way, basically. Is that about the right size of window we showed off there? Yeah, yeah, you weren't far away at all. <laughs> just cut a wee window. 
Let's see what we're doing. And you can see the site where we've put the little corner set again. So we're now just ready to cut in. Um, we've got skin to go through, three layers of muscle, and then that'll be us in the abdomen, and then we'll have a wee, see if we kind of find where the worms are. That's us through it. It's a lamb's leg inside the womb, really. So is that layer to be cut as well? That's yeah, not just so like this, a... is, this is womb wall we're cutting. Oh, so, oh yeah, yeah, that's not where normal no, to come out. A, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's in, that's in the abdomen. You can see the berries of the placenta. We've got a hind leg and we need to also find the... A... a hind leg and I'm just going to get it. Go pass along to Cameron. Right, Lammy. <laughs> what a way to come out. That was less painful than you're expecting. That's the wee one, I think the other one's the bigger one. There you go. Vicky will do a bit of aftercare for that wee lamb, looks good. Aye, put it, pen it across there, Vicky will maybe move her after this. This is a big one. Aye, this is the this big is one, a I thought. Big one. Yeah, what this is. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's a. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> um, when I felt it, I thought there's a there's a big lamb to come out here. There's just no way that lamb was going to come out this. Yeah. Really. Aye, yep, yep. You make me feel better. <laughs> you say all the right things. <laughs> right, Lammy. Right, Lammy. A repair job now? Yeah. It's um, just a case of stitching everything back up in layers. In the, the uh, ca cat gut. It's synthetic cat gut. Aye. You can see the wound wall starting to fold back in already. Yeah. Mm. I must, I'm going to say that it, the way you're firing it in, it just looks so. Uh, I'm not going to say blase, but it's like it's just so yeah. throat. But you can see how tidy it's actually coming yeah, together. Yeah, I know. And this is the wound wall getting stitched yeah. up here. Yeah. Uh, and so it's it, important it, that's sealed really because you don't want any of the fluid, the afterbirth fluid, getting into the sheep's ab uh, sheep's abdomen. Really, that's what would cause a infection down the line. Really. Right. So, just important to get that sealed up. That's the womb all stitched up, so we we'll just tuck it back in, really. That's really. So I missed the start of that there, Alan. Yeah, we're just going to sew the muscle in two separate. There's three layers of muscle, but <laughs> we'll sew the inside one, and then we'll just sew the outside two together. Um, and that gives you two layers, and then the skin and top, really. Right, Ultimately, there ends up being like three 
stitches. Yeah, for, well, four if you include the womb. So three, the womb gets stitched up, and then the inside muscle layer, the outside two muscle layers, and they're all done with cat gut. And then we'll do the skin with. It's just a synthetic nylon, really. I suppose we're using the skin, but they need they'll need to removed, really. Oh, this is the way to do it, rather than forcing it out the back door, like. Yeah, she should be, I mean, she'll bump her feet in two minutes when we get home. Is that right? She would never have been. Oh, ah, yeah, no, no. Really no. pulling me to it. <laughs> no, I had to do some bloodbath, like. And probably ruined her for next year, so yeah. with this, she should breed no bother next year. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there is obviously a chance of, of infection and, and issues like that, but yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, all the washing and antibiotics. Yeah. And Look at Mum's head there. She obviously can't feel anything. She's hardly moved a muscle. Yeah. She's on the good stuff. Yeah. So it's us just get left with the skin to stitch up. Um, and I always do what's called cruciate sutures in the skin. Um, there's lots of different ways of stitching up the skin, but. I just think it makes the skin, these stitches make the skin sit quite nicely together, really. <laughs> being a vet will just be like any other job, well, just be like being a farmer, everybody thinks they can better. Well, exactly, there's, there's lots of <laughs> different ways of doing, Aye. doing it. Um, you can do inverted mattresses, but you often <laughs> you end up the wool sits in a line. Like that. Ah, right, um, you notice know, it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you know, you can see the line, yeah. even though it's got long wool, but you know, it's pretty irrelevant for a commercial. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see the needle that's there, it's a different needle, so it's a, if you can see in the film, yeah, it's right. triangular shaped. Right. So it's because you're cutting through hide, hide, hide really. Because it's going through thicker so stuff. Thicker skin, really, you wouldn't eat. So they were round. So it was the one before. It was round right, bodied, okay. they're called, really. For, you know, <laughs> so it would cause the, the cutting needle that we we're using for the skin would cause too much damage to the womb, the, the, the uterine wall tissue, or suppose the womb wall tissue. Tear <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just tear through it, so, really. Aye, that needle, that would be similar needle to what you'd use for prolapses. Yes. Yeah. Aye. Are those ones ones that you need to? You've Come done, back and take yeah, out. Yeah, or so it's it's just the shearer will take them out. The shearer will get them. That's actually what usually happens. Yeah. Well, but, to be fair, the, the shearer um, at shearing time, like you'll run over them and that will take all the ends off yeah, them with exactly. the blades, and it actually works out all right. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're bit, they're inert these stitches, and they just never annoy the sheep. So that's the last stitch. Beautiful. Oh, okay. What a job. We can take this off and we'll give it a wee clean up and we'll get some antibiotic spray for her skin. Just, just give this lamp time. It is work it's working away there. It's starting to come round. It's obviously had a traumatic birth. Not as traumatic as it would have been if I'd pulled them out the back door. <laughs> so he's got to think he's still a bit lucky there, but <laughs> is that right? Put your lemon here, Jock. The cure for everything. Yep. <laughs> From blindness to foot rot. Okay. <laughs> That's you. Some man. Yeah. Ideal. Good job. Right, we'll get tidied up here, folks, and we'll see this sheep when she's back on her feet. And hopefully this lamb is too. Quite traumatic for you. Wait, we'll just get you standing up here. Yeah. Just sit down. Yeah. See how you feel about this. Take your time, take your time. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> there she goes. Oh. There go. And she's looking for a lamp. I think we'll get you a lamb the new mum. Still a bit numb at the back. Okay, sheep fans, it's been a quiet day in the lambing shed, apart from, of course, that excitement earlier. Here's your update. So, we're still not out the woods yet. This wee guy, this was the first lamb that came out. 
smashing little Charlie Lamb, looking great. But this little guy, oh, he's not so little. He's just still, oh, oh. Still just not found his feet, but he's had three goes of colostrum. And he's getting better every time. Oh. There you go, Lammy. How does that feel to stand up? That's the longest he's stood up yet. He's probably a little bit away from taking a step yet. I think we're going to have to keep chibbing him for a bit. And I see the way he's leaking urine there. It's not quite normal. We're going to keep tubing him, keep looking after him and try and get him working like a normal lamb. Especially after, you know, such a incredible way to be brought into the world. There we go, lamb. That's the longest you have stood up yet. And that, I mean, this isn't a wee lamb. You, you know, it's, that's a good sized lamb as well. This is just a right big leggy Charlie lamb. Too big to come out this hog. And in fairness, it, I say that, it's not really too big to come out of that hog. It's just the fact they both came at the same time. I just stalled the whole process. She wasn't as slack as she should be. And I'm really pleased with what we did here. That, this is definitely the way to do it. Mum's been great. She's chewing away at hay there when I approached. The wound, Alan made a great job. Very, very tidy. And it's just getting this lamb acting like a normal lamb. It's going to be the challenge. All good in the shed here. Let's go and do the evening rounds. So, little bit of a situation here, not a major one. We've got two absolute beasts of lambs out this Chief 8 here. And we've got this wee rascal with a green bum who is a lamb that's been in the shed and has a mum in this field somewhere over there, that blackie. And it's here trying to steal milk off of her. Why have you been a wee rascal? That's not your mum. You know your mum, you're about, you're about a wee cold. Oh, missed it. Tricked you, tricked you, got you. Right, that's your mum over here. Does your mum not like you? I'm not surprised if you're going to behave like this. Mum. Mum. Mum, what's this? Will you keep control of your child, please? <sighs> Unbelievable. Ah, oh, bit of excitement for you girls. Are you girls? I wouldn't know. Yeah, bound to be heifers, yeah. Bit of excitement. This, this, oh, oh, just walked into a branch. <laughs> Ow. That'll do us for the night. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Quite an experience with that um, caesarean earlier. Um, that was my first caesarean and I think it's a positive switch up in my mindset with, with lambing and just the animal care in general that before I would have just got that lamb out the back causing, you know, a bit of trauma to the lamb, obviously, but big trauma to the sheep. And, you know, emotionally, like, you can say, you can say what you like. Like, I've been doing this my whole life, which isn't a long time, I get that, 30 years. And, you know, even for somebody like myself who's, in terms of lambing and sheep, you know, you've kind of seen it all, done it all with these kind of lambings anyway. You know, we have done tough lambings where sheep have died and things have been quite brutal and it takes an emotional toll on you. Like, I don't care what you say, like having a brutal lambing of like a hog like that where, you know, you get tired and you're sore and the sheep shouting in pain and the whole thing's quite brutal. It takes an emotional toll on you. Whereas getting a vet in there, cutting that out, you get a bit of crack, hear the gossip. And Alan wasn't quite sure, but it's not going to cost any more than 120 quid. So, like, that's an absolute bargain in my eyes compared to the alter what the alternative was there with that big lamb. So it's definitely been an eye-opener for me and how simple the process is and how good the value is for the process. And I would definitely be doing that again in a similar situation, definitely. Okay, so it's actually a day and a bit later and 
Unfortunately, we weren't able to save that big lamb. It just never really came right. Started sort of deteriorating. We were, it had its colostrum, had everything we could give it, and it died. Which is a shame, it just was never right, but she did have this fantastic lamb. Which knows how to get a suit even when she's lying down. And the wound is healing really well. She's just getting treated with pen strip. And we're just watching that nothing gets pussy or infected looking, but it looks very tidy and clean. As it is just now, and this wee lamb's an absolute belter. For, for this being the, the small lamb, it's an absolute cracker. So, yeah, all going good with that so far. Anyway, that's the end of this one, sheep fans. Hope you've enjoyed it. Something very different, very graphic. I understand that. But I hope you really took something from it. I certainly did. And we'll see you for the next one.